At the most fundamental level, this is a process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking relative to the atoms of the periodic table. The reason why there is something rather than nothing is that a process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking will naturally form entropy or disorganization with a built-in potential for ever greater symmetry formation. This is because in such a process the future is not based totally on uncertainty. It is based on broken symmetry relative to the structure of the atoms. When the spherical symmetry is broken, it has the potential to form the most beautiful of geometrical shapes, with the Fibonacci spiral being visible almost everywhere in nature. There is an incredible diversity of objects that have formed the Fibonacci spiral, and the only thing they have in common is that their spirals were all formed over a period of time relative to the atoms of the periodic table. This is logical in this theory because the future is continuously unfolding with an exchange of photon energy relative to the atoms of the periodic table. It is because these spirals are formed out of broken symmetry that they are never perfect. This is because if the quantum wave particle function or probability function is reformulated as a linear vector, then all the information I can find says that each new vector is formed by adding the two previous vectors together. This forms the Fibonacci sequence. In this theory, we have the Fibonacci numbers in nature, not because of economy of growth or space, but because time and space is being formed by the geometry and therefore the mathematics of this dynamic process. As can be seen on the diagram, we already have zero, representing the moment of now, time equals zero, with positive one and minus one, representing the positive and negative of electromagnetic waves. Therefore, we even have the start of the Fibonacci sequence in the diagram. This is linked to Euler's identity, giving this beautiful equation a place in the structure of space and time. I have tried to make this theory as simple as possible in the belief that everyone should be able to understand it. In my other videos I explain this theory in much greater detail. Thanks for watching. Please share and subscribe. It will help the promotion of this theory.